Didn't you say that you were sure that everybody here hates you? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be lip swatches and a small review on the new Power Pigments by Tarte. This is from their new spring collection. These Power Pigments are very comparable to the previous Tarte Lip Surgeons uh, lip tints. I have a few of these and I do really love them and enjoy them. These, I have to admit, I caved into buying them because the packaging was so cute and it just offered a larger variety of colors that were perfect for spring. These are the power pigments. I have six of them and there are eight in the collection. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the lightest one which is Exposed. I have used Exposed before. This is a very nice nude shade. I do have a little bit of chapstick on so I'm gonna go ahead and dab it off. And now I'm gonna go ahead and apply. So this here is Exposed. Like I said, it's a very nice nude shade on the neutral side. It has a pinkish undertone. It's very beautiful. It's really nice and this is actually one of my favorites. The next shade is Fearless. And when I look at the packaging, it looks like a very light pink, maybe like a very light corally pink. So this here is Fearless, and as you saw from the application clip, the freaking product broke right off of the packaging. There is some tugging at the lips, so I don't recommend you take out a lot of product when you're applying it. So this here is Fearless. It is a very beautiful pinkish corally color, exactly what I saw in the tube, and I like this one. It's very suitable for spring, and it's so fun and vibrant. The next color that I'm going to use is Flush, but before I apply it, I'm going to put a little bit of lip balm um, it's a very pretty packaging as you can see with all of them and again this is flush this is what it looks like in the packaging now I look at the packaging and I see this pink cap here so far whatever color the cap is is the color of the product that you get inside this one completely threw me off I thought it was like a bubblegum pink with a bluish undertone but this is not a bubblegum pink this looks like and I'll go ahead and swatch it this looks like just a rosy kind of pink color. Let's go ahead and apply it on the lips. So this one here is Flush. And again, this totally threw me off. I did not expect this color at all. I am removing each color with a makeup wipe and then I'm taking a tissue and just patting my lips dry, making sure all of the product is removed. And I'm going to be applying a little bit more of lip balm. The next color that I'm going to swatch is a very beautiful coral color. This is the shade Blissful, again with very beautiful packaging. So this shade in the tube actually matches the color at the end of the product. So I would think this is gonna be a coral color. Let's go ahead and swatch it on the lips and see what we get. So here is Blissful. And the color that you see here on this cap is the color that you get on your lips. And I really, really like this color because it's sort of giving off that coral look, but the orange is still very dominant in this shade. So this is very pretty, and again, this is blissful. The next shade that I'm going to try out is Blushing Bride. This one, to me, in the packaging looks like a nice mauve shade. It looks like something that I would really, really love because I love mauve. This is what it looks like in the packaging, so it does look like a mauve shade. Now let's go ahead and apply it to the lips. Alright, so this color kind of threw me off as well. Um, it sort of matches, and I noticed really quickly, I'm sorry to stray from what I'm about to say, but you can see I only left the tip out so I can apply it to my lips. And if you can see, the product inside the tube is starting to bend. So I was putting pressure like this and it started going that way. And you can see it better here, it's leaning towards this way, the way that my thumb is going. So again, do not take out a lot of product whenever you're applying it. Just leave the point like that, use it, and then take it out little by little. So back to the color. It kind of threw me off. I expected this nice, plummy, mauve type of shade. This shade to me looks like a pink mixed with a red. It's not red, it's not pink, it's somewhere in the middle. It's still a very beautiful color, but I really wish it would have been like a mauve type of color. So again, this is Blushing Bright. Now the last shade that I have is Natural Beauty. 
This shade to me looks like a very soft red with maybe some pink in it. It doesn't look like a bloody red or an orange based red. This is what it looks like in the packaging. It looks like it can be bright but it doesn't look like one of those bold ruby rule type of reds. So I think I was right about this shade. I think it is true to the color in the packaging and also the color in the tube. It is like a red, I'm going to say like a reddish pink, but it leads more on the red side. It is a very beautiful color. Um, all of these do have minty sensations. I forgot to mention that. They do have mints coming off of them, just like the Lip Surgeons, which are the lip tints from Tarte. And this color, again, is natural beauty. It's very pretty, and it's true to the color. All right, guys, so I went ahead and did swatches for you, and I'm so sorry. My voice is going in and out. But I'm so sick right now. Um, so these are the swatches that I did. I want you guys to keep in mind that the color that you saw on my lips when I swatched each color is going to be different depending on your lip pigmentation. So if you have mauve type of pigmentation on your lips, so then the colors on my lips are going to be very similar to the ones that you are going to get. But if you have paler lips, pinker lips, then the color will look different. This one here on the bottom is Blushing Bride. This is the one that looked sort of mauve -y. I'll, I'll actually hold them up while I show you. So this one is Blushing Bride. And then this one right here in the bottom is Blushing Bride. Then we have Natural Beauty, which is that pinkish red, the one that I have on my lips now. And that's the color right here on top. Next, we have Blissful, which was the pretty coral color. And that one is this one here. Then we have fearless and that one is right here in the middle that's that very pretty corally pink color that looks like a nude it's very beautiful then we have flush and flush is the one that sort of threw us off guard it looked like a bubblegum pink here but then here it's like way darker and this one right here on the bottom corner is flush so it's not a bubblegum pink and the final one is exposed um, I didn't really talk about the packaging, but it does look like a pale nude here. So this one right here is exposed. So again, these are the swatches. I'll put my hand like this and then somewhere down here I'll put the names of each color so you can see them better and without me talking. Now really quickly, I just want to give you guys more information, just like a short review of these products. So these are the Lip Surgeons Power Pigments. I got six of them, there are eight in the collection. The reason I didn't take the other two is because when I looked at the display, although each packaging had a different colored tube and they all look like different colors, they were all very similar to each other. So I took the ones that stood out the most. Now when you look at the swatches, some of them are quite comparable, some of them are unique. When you saw my lip swatches, some of them looked exactly like they would in the tube. Others were completely different. So I think it's safe to say that depending on your lip pigmentation, you're going to get a totally different color. I find that these aren't as smooth as I expected them to be. There is also a little bit of tugging when you apply it, so I would highly recommend you use a lip balm or just something to condition and moisten your lips a little bit so that when you apply it, it'll glide a little bit easier. Um, first application is always going to feel the driest. Once you start using it, you're going to feel it gliding better and easier. I want to go ahead and do a quick comparison for you guys. I have exposed in the Lip Surgeon Slip Tint and then as you saw, I have exposed in the Power Pigment. They both have the same name. The exposed in the Lip Surgeon Slip Tint is matte and I'm going to go ahead and swatch it. Right here, we'll do like a little rectangle. And as you saw, this glided completely smooth, amazing, and still gives you a beautiful matte finish. And it feels super moisturizing. Now let's go ahead and use Exposed in the Power Pigment Formula. Now I'm going to go ahead. This one does feel creamier. It does feel like it has more moisture, but it doesn't glide better than the other one. I do feel a little bit of tugging, but nothing to complain about. And here go the swatches. So you can see there's a huge difference. If you're wondering if they leave stains, yes they do. They both leave stains. They both have really nice lasting power. And I honestly think they're both equally pigmented. I don't see a difference in pigmentation at all. Now let's go ahead and wrap this up. 
I absolutely love these power pigments. The packaging is absolutely beautiful. This is what drew me to them. I absolutely needed them because of the packaging. The formula is very nice. Like I said, once it's on your lips, it feels absolutely moisturizing. I wish it were a bit more smoother so that I wouldn't have to apply a lip balm. But since these don't have SPF, I don't mind applying a lip balm before because I like to apply something with SPF beforehand. These power pigments cost $24 and the Lip Surgeon's Lip Tint cost $24 as well. Now the Lip Surgeon's Lip Tint gives you 3 grams of product, which is a lot. The power pigment only gives you 1 gram of product. So at the end of the day, you have to decide, do you want matte or satiny creamy? Do you want bulky crayon or slim sleek crayon with beautiful packaging or do you want more product versus little product? If it was me at the end of the day I would go with this one just because in the Lip Surgeon's lip tint line you get to choose from matte or creamy you get more product for the same pricing and in my opinion it's the same exact product just different finishes you have a minty sensation with this one you get a minty sensation with this one they both feel absolutely amazing on the lips and I think they're very comparable I wish these ran for about $18 I think that's pretty reasonable comparing it to this but I mean Tarte has their reasons I'm a huge Tarte fan I love Tarte as you guys see in my hauls I have been hauling Tarte like crazy so I hope this video helped you guys out. If you have any questions, comments, or just anything you want to tell me, please do leave it down below. I thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.